guys, welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new, my name is David and on today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys on how to, how to remove hard water stains from your beautiful plants and also how, well just basically how to clean your plants with only one thing, literally, you only need one single thing to remove these hard water stains you guys, that's all you need, like I don't understand why this is, I haven't, because I've been doing a, a, lot, a lot of research on uh, how to remove hard water stains from leaves, because you can't just get like a piece of, well, here's what it's all, it's literally a micro, microfiber cloth that gets it done, but you can't just get a regular like napkin or like a garra, or anything, you, like, a, I don't know how to say garra in English, but you, like with just with water and just like you scrape it down because it's it'll still stay there, but for some magical reason, you get this like like you wet it you squeeze out the excess excess water and then listen my english is not really good if i can help it with your plants um <laughs> and give you some tips but um maybe you can give me some tips on how to speak english correctly but yes so you just gotta get this wet you squeeze it as much as you can like get rid of all the water and then you literally just wipe the leaves now you can't just like wipe it like softly you have to like kind of like get in there um, and it'll easily remove it. Like, I'm not saying, like, you know, scrub it really, really hard, but like a simple, like, that's literally all you gotta do, and it will remove the hard water stains. It still blows my mind, because, like I said, I've been doing a lot of research on how to remove hard water stains on, like, your plants. I used to use a leaf shiner, but not anymore, because, like, I. <laughs> I. I I used to say that it doesn't really hurt my plants and my grandmother also says like her plants are amazing with it and I used to love using it because it really makes the leaves really really shiny you don't see the hard water stains anymore and they just look so shiny and some of my plants really didn't bother like my drancinas really didn't bother at all my potos didn't even care it at all but when I was using it on my which plant was it I think it was my pepperonia it started like having issues like it's still alive but the leaves don't look as healthy and like firm as they used to like i said they're still alive they're not turning yellow from what i know but i don't like the i uh, they don't look that good i mean i don't i don't know maybe it's something different but i just i don't feel safe with um leaf shiners anymore so i removed it from my description box i removed it from my stores that on my amazon store like um, products that i recommend because i don't want to use it on my plants i don't want to recommend it to you guys anymore because like, i'm not using it on my plants anymore so you know what i'm saying like that's just not gonna work out anymore but this this is a holy grail i'm also using it on my calatheas and they don't bother at all and they're calatheas y'all like you know what i'm saying i don't know like i said a lot for example a lot of people were like i guess i can talk and clean some leaves so let me get this wet and i'll be back already it's nice and wet now what we're gonna do well first let me show you guys the foliage so i have a i think this is called a maria chinese evergreen from what i saw i, I know it's a chinese evergreen but i went to plantarena.com and she sent the same plant and she calls it maria chinese evergreen so we have this girly we have a a mini monstera or raffidora perfecturma a mini monstera <laughs> We have this girl, and then we have another beautiful Chinese evergreen. You guys, I love using Chinese evergreens. So I'm gonna go show you guys these plants and show you the foliage because like when the before and after. So let's get into it. Here is a mini monster, as you guys can see, there is a lot of water. And the reason why, and I don't know what on tarnation this is, but we're gonna clean it out. These plants, they were in my greenhouse. That's my beautiful cat. Hey, Nico. She's so cute. Um, these plants were in the greenhouse, and if you, I talk, I talk about this a lot in my videos, but the greenhouse ended up collapsing, so I had to bring these plants slowly inside. They're on the bottom of a uh, of a tree. But anyways, what this has to do with the greenhouse? Well, they were in the greenhouse, and I used to love misting with the hose because it was just so therapeutic. It was so beautiful. My plants love the extra boost of humidity, and as you guys can see. All that misting ended up, you know, this is happening. So there's a lot of mineral deposits on the leaves. But yeah, so now, like I said, I'm bringing them back inside because one, winter is coming, two, they don't have any protection for the winter, and three, I just want these girlies back inside because, like, I don't know. So, as y'all can see, there is a lot of cleaning to do. So, let me set up my tripod and we can talk while we clean these leaves. Alrighty guys, so 
Let's start cleaning these leaves. As I was doing the time lapse for the other plants, so the mini monstera, it was a, like really, really difficult to clean its leaves because it has so many illustrations and the leaves are pretty small as well. So I had to go very gentle and I had to like be very, very careful because like I could easily rip some leaves and I, I did a few, um, ripped a couple, but I mean, you know, the leaves are clean so I can photosynthesize a little bit more better and breathe a lot easier. But, um, yeah, so it's really, really hard to plants that need, like, I mean, not need, but have uh, fluctuations. Now, on the Chinese evergreen, this beautiful girly right over here, she was pretty easy because, you know, she doesn't have any fluctuations, but she did, she needed, like, a good soak of water, so her leaves were started to curl, made it a little bit difficult to clean its leaves, but it was a lot easier than, than the, what? The medium monster plants. I keep forgetting, I keep getting that. Swiss cheese plant, Arizona, and Mini Monster confused. Um, but yes, so here's a little tip. Make sure the plants are watered to make it a little bit easier. If not, the leaves start to curl and it gets a little bit difficult to clean its foliage. But now that we're cleaning some plants right now, I'm gonna clean a, a ZZ plant that I have as well because she needs, you know, a good cleanup as well. By the way, I was gonna like say, some people are like, like I said, I've seen videos of people using microfiber cloth, but I thought you had to use like lemon or like vinegar, cause that's what they were using. They were saying like, use lemon or use vinegar and like dilute it with water. And I was like, I don't wanna use vinegar and I don't wanna use lemon. It's like really acidic and I mean, I get it. It does break down the mineral deposit, but I didn't wanna put them in its list cause I was scared it was gonna damage it. Some people say it damages, some people say it doesn't, I don't really know. Other people use um, milk and I'm not sure if milk helps on the mineral deposit like to clean off its leaves, but it, I think they say like it helps with like the leaf shine, like it makes the leaves a lot shinier, but I don't want to be putting milk on my plants. <laughs> I mean, if it works for you, that's awesome. And if you love the results, that's great. But I don't, I also like I'm lactose intolerant, so we don't really have a lot of milk anyways. And I just, no. But a simple microfiber cloth, you guys, literally does wonders. Sometimes the minerals, like some of these stains have been there for a pretty long time. So it was a little bit difficult to remove. And some still might pop up, but I literally give it like a second pass. And a benefit of cleaning your leaves, it is really painful, especially for like that Swiss cheese? No, oh my god. That medium instead of plant because like there were so many small leaves and there were so many illustrations. It was very time consuming because you have to be very delicate and slow. Unlike this one going like pretty fast. <sighs> but you know, it's good to look after your plants. You you can get like a good close-up and inspect them and make you know make sure that they're doing A-OK. -okay. Cause like I really I was so proud that I didn't have a spider mites infestation, but I ended up yeah I actually had one, and uh, it was just so nasty. And I was so happy that well I didn't caught it my mom caught it. Well I don't know if it was me or my mom, but we were in the kitchen and there I saw the it was the alocasia poly elephant's ear I believe, and. I, one of the leaves looked really yellow and it had like a lot of white polka dots and I was like what is going on with this plant? So I looked closely and I was like seeing like a lot of like small little things moving around and I was like Oh my god are those spider mites? And then I saw like between the leaves there was like spider webs and I was like oh my god it is And I turned the back of its leaves and you guys it was filled. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life That's a lie, but it's one of the most disgusting things I've seen in my entire life and it was just so gross and I ended up putting it outside. I was panicking because I was I was gonna buy, well, I didn't have the car to go and buy some rubbing alcohol because that usually helps on killing the, the spider mites. So what I, what I ended up doing was I just got the watering hose, you guys, and I literally just sprayed on the entire plant 
one time and it's literally solved the problem like i don't see no more spider mites in the plants it is outside so i don't know that's another like benefit as well like making sure like i don't know maybe there's like ladybugs outside and like you know i know ladybugs eat spider mites i think so i'm not that sure but yeah so that was really really crazy and i'm so happy that i caught it because if not it would have infected a lot of my other plants and like my calentheas are like right there as well and that would have been scary and like super super sad and this plant's clean like i'm telling you guys like and you can see a little bit of a shine as well um not as shiny as with the leaf shiner but this is like the most natural way without using any chemicals or like vinegar or like lemon. like i said some people use that and that's like perfect so that works for your plants that's amazing but i don't want to be putting acid on my plants like <laughs> i just want to remove the dust because my house is really dusty there's a lot of people that live here and we open the doors so many times and let in a lot of air anywho removing the hairs from my cats because my girlie she's like she's right there my cat and she's like six years old all her hairs fly she sheds so many hairs and some of them land on my plants and that doesn't look really really cute so i do want to remove the hairs and also the mineral deposit on the leaves long story short i just want to make my plants look really really pretty and also help them to photosynthesize a lot better the way i see it is like a dirty window um you will get light in through a dirty window but not as much as as if you clean that window so yeah it's just it's so satisfying cleaning these leaves the other zz bird plants that i have which is this girly she also has oh my god as you can see is filled with those nasty stains and look let me show you you see that and like i know some of you might say let it dry out and like they will come back you guys they don't like i have my plants the plants that i've cleaned with the microfiber cloth they haven't like the stains don't really come back like at all they've been like that for like for example my beautiful Gensina, she was dirty with so many mineral deposits and as you guys can see she even looks a little bit even shinier even on the old foliage and there's no mineral deposits like it does an amazing job at removing it like seriously you guys enjoyed if you did please let me know by giving a big thumbs up and i'm gonna go water this plant also this was a leaf that i ended up breaking <laughs> i lost a couple but it's totally okay um but yes i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new because i upload a daily plant content from plant shopping to plant hauls to house plant tours all of that good stuff so if you enjoy that type of content consider subscribing and yeah i'm just so like happy that i can clean the leaves without using like acid <laughs> all right you guys i'll see you tomorrow bye